Hello everyone, how are you going? Welcome back to Balloon Tower Defense 6, where the boss balloon of this week is Vortex. Now I've done it before, or at least attempted it before, but that didn't go too well, but I've certainly learned a decent amount since then, so I just want to give it another go, see if I can give him a run for his money. New game on Candy Falls, which I guess technically is my best map ever, and so how do I want to be approaching this from the start? I, oh, I have Quincy and not Sorter. That's a little bit different, but I can use Quincy. I guess I can also afford to chuck down the glue gunner, why not? It also has a decent range, and that'll get three paths right there. I mean, to be honest, one of the major differences for me now in comparison to last time I attempted it is just the fact that I have things unlocked, so it gives me so many more options. Alright, well now I'm just torn between saving up for a banana farm, getting a druid, or maybe even just a boomerang monkey, because they are all very cheap, I know they all work, but I think I just like the druid a lot. I mean, I am just waiting to see if anything is possibly sneaking through, because I have 200 lives, I haven't played easy in ages, but 200 lives is so many, I can afford to lose plenty, and so I think I would just grab that banana farm first. I guess I'll just go ahead and place it all the way at the top if I can find the best spot like last time that'll be perfect and then I can't afford any upgrades just yet but also oh this should be a perfect spot to be able to test the druid as well I think I can fit four or at least three in there all right well it has been a few rounds I've managed to save up a little bit of money upgrade the banana farm where I can I think I'm just going to be getting a druid now just placing it up the top here but to be honest I don't want to put it in the wrong spot so then it blocks a banana farm that's the only thing I'm worried about I can fit one there and then there so yeah if I place the druid right about there it should be okay I think now I can just see with this banana farm there and I can't fit one there so that is perfect then I can place one down there I can grab a druid and put them really anywhere but I guess I might as well favor this way to try and include some more people so banana farm there druid right the uh, druid right there why not and then that'll be perfect Ah, uh, there we go, our first lives are finally being lost, but like I said, I'm not worried in the slightest because now I have myself fairly well set up. I would just be using these next couple of rounds to save up for Druid of the Jungle, come on, thank you, there we go, Druid of the Jungle, it is, there we go, now I can just hold everyone there and I can just go back to my banana farms. Look at that, what an investment that becomes, honestly, it is only a thousand dollars, which is insane considering it has full map coverage, can just hold balloons there all day long, and it's honestly incredible, and also then if you level it up again, does more damage and gives you money, it's just such a no-brainer, can't believe for so long I didn't know anything about it. Honestly, now I'm wondering if I could afford to get multiple up there. I mean, I'll start with two, but then just get them all up to Druid of the Jungle, and actually, no, Jungle's Bounty would be even better because they're just surrounded by banana farms. However, actually, I've just realized that that top left-hand corner has been very distracting, and so I have to make sure that I just remember that Vortex appears in nine rounds from now, and so how do I want to be going about that? Maybe a Wizard Monkey, Dragon's Breath, Phoenix kind of combo, chuck an Alchemist in there. I might even be able to afford a bit of Ice and Tack because you know what I'm not messing around I know what I know and it's not everything but I'm going to use what I've learned since last time actually the other good thing about getting a wizard monkey would be that all of these cameras would not be solely the responsibility of Quincy and so yeah I think that would make sense to do like I said full mount coverage easy all the way up as high as I can for you bit of well I guess I can't get monkey sense but I can uh, now I guess I'll chuck an ice monkey down and then another tack and another tack actually I'm going a bit overboard that'll be fine for now well hang on a second I hadn't realized that that was already going alrighty then um, uh, let me just go tax sprayer even faster shooting. I should rip through this is what I'm hoping I'll use Quince's ability because it's massive and then yeah look at that Oh my goodness I remember that bar taking so long last time but that thing is flying Actually something that I've forgotten about was the fact that he does wipe some people out Hmm all right then, in a second here I'll grab Summon Phoenix just to get that going and that should also help me, but honestly at the moment it's looking a little bit dicey. There we go, send him back from whence he came, I guess. Is there anyone I should be grabbing? Probably honestly a sniper monkey wouldn't be the worst idea. Just all the way up as much as I can, faster firing, deadly precision, yes, look at that. Now at least he's actually back in the damage range, but he is going to knock everything out. Oh no, is he honestly going to get me? That is so many balloons, I forgot about all of this. Oh my goodness, um, hmm, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this because he's going to knock the out again maybe a oh, pause it for a second how can I take on those balloons if I do manage to take him out again I have plenty of money more than I thought I was going to be having I just don't know how to take out those camo balloons maybe actually another wizard come on give me my wizard intense magic all the way up okay that's the best I think I can do come on get rid of those balloons yes oh my goodness that definitely would have killed me you guys can do it there's not that much left you just have to do a little bit more damage come on oh there's so much left on the table though send up the phoenix send up everything possible Quincy I don't think can reach anymore let's see can I do it it'll be so close if I can come on please Please, it's so close. Oh no, oh, it's got it. Surely the dragon's breath, it's got it. Oh my goodness. That was, well, 
Honestly, I don't know if I took him out last time. I think I did, so I don't know what I've done differently. Maybe I've just overcapitalized on my banana farms, but jeez, that was close. And I am certainly glad that I got that wizard monkey at the end there because that was ridiculous. But anyway, let's just continue on. I think I'm just going to look at getting a few more tax because they shredded him at the start here. I could get overdrive, but I think maybe I should just spread out a little bit more. As if nothing else will allow me to do a whole bundle more damage, but more so not just get everyone wiped out when they take him out next door. In saying that, I guess it wouldn't be the worst investment in the world to be getting people that can see the entire map like a sniper monkey, especially if I was to get it with up to even faster firing or full auto rifle, and just put it where he can't be taken out. So in saying that, I'm just going to continue to save up for now, see how much money I can accumulate before round, I guess, 59, and go from there. Well, as we can see, it is not round 59 yet, but I do want to just see where I want to be placing this sniper monkey. I'm thinking over on the right here, or even just up here, just somewhere that I might eventually put a village is what I'm wondering. I guess if I was to put it there then it is more likely to get hidden so over on the right it will be well then to be honest I'm not sure how I feel going into this round I do believe I have to put you on strong and upgrade you to semi-automatic and yeah you can be on first or actually probably for this round I just want you on strong because you can't see camos and that's all it's going to send out at me as well but with 46 lives and 40 dollars in the bank I guess it is time to attempt it and see what happens I'll play it slowly send up the phoenixes early and just go for it as fast and as hard as I can come on I also have to make sure that I'm using my abilities and upgrading people where I can. There we go. Cripple Moab. No, May Moab just for you. That took it out nicely, but it also stunned that entire corner. That's fine. Large caliber for you to make you do more damage. And then, yeah, so far that health bar is cruising down. Oh, using my abilities already forgetting, like I said. Three grand in the bank. Overdrive for you to try and do a boatload more damage as he comes back around. But come on, everyone. You just need to be. There we go. That is what I wanted. I will be sending up the phoenixes again in a second. Cruising that health on down. I might even just grab Loon Liquefier and then, oh, who else? I'm a little bit stuck now because I'm down to original towers. Double shot, why not? I'm in the range where he's about to wipe my main guys out, but it should be okay, come on. Oh, wow, I have an entire BFB that I also have to deal with. I completely forgot about that. Thank you, wizard monkey. But here we go, full auto rifle. Come on, you can do it. There we go. This one is looking much better than the last one. I just have to make sure that nothing sneaky sneaks through. As long as I don't get any random extra balloons just coming along, I should be fine. Yes, look at that. Oh, that was so much much better than the tier one one. <laughs> And so considering here appears in 12 rounds, I think I'm just going to be using that time to get Banana Plantation and then, oh, maybe Jungle's Bounty would be good. But I am also wondering what is going to be my next plan of attack? I mean, now I'm wondering, do I look at getting a Spectre or something like that and just putting it, like I said, well out of the way, it won't get zapped and it should just be able to hammer down the entire time. Actually, I am now wondering how things like helicopters would work because if you had them on Pursuit, then they're going to be on top of him the entire time. And so when he does his zappy EMP thing, do they go down or not? I guess, to be honest, there is only really one way that I'm going to be finding out, so there we go. I will then grab faster darts, yeah, more Abishab, all of that good stuff, and then Pursuit for you, Kamachi Defense, lovely, exactly what I wanted, all my money gone, but that's fine. Well, that was a lot of banana, my goodness, I'll take all of that, I don't believe that I need anyone else, but I might just look at getting another, ooh, maybe just another jungle's bounty while I can, and then just use the ability, come on, how much am I getting now? Damn, about 800 bucks, alright. Jeez, I have two more rounds before he appears again, and honestly, I don't feel like I'm prepared prepared or have done enough at all but I guess there's only one way to find out if I just scrape by again then I guess that'll be what it'll be but geez come on I hope this helicopter does work for me oh actually here we go let's have a little look at this I can at least grab it if nothing else 65 that oh. I was so happy to be able to get Spirit of the Forest, and I swear, I don't know if it jumped across, or I don't know what it was, but I thought I had it selected, and clearly not. Anyway, Superstorm it is, and Spirit of the Forest, you'll read later. Well, the boss appears in one round, but I have $23,000. What can I be spending it on? I do have the ability to get plenty of things. I could get another helicopter. I could probably almost get a Spectre, but I don't think so. I also don't think that would be the best use of my money, and so, oh, maybe, okay, I'll get another heli all the way up to Kamachi Defense. That leaves me with eight grand, probably, honestly, for a few alchemists and things. And then with my last little bit of money, what can I be getting? Honestly, I might even just grab a village and see how many people I can get in the radius. I guess that should honestly get everyone once I get bigger radius and then regroup blocker as well. That'll be fine. I mean, if last time was anything to go by, I did have 46 lives and I had $40 and now it's only $2 less and so it should be sweet. Send them up immediately, send out everything I possibly can and let's just see how much damage I can do. Oh, he's got a lot more health than last time. Hopefully I can just do enough damage over the course of it and honestly, I think 
here we go. Let me just start spending some money where it's needed. Uh, I'll give you overdrive. I'll give you, uh, once I can afford it, you overdrive as well. If I can find you under there, there we go. Overdrive for you. And then, oh, geez, there's honestly just a lot to keep track of. I think I'll just chuck down another sniper and grab, yeah, all of that good stuff. Actually, I don't know why I'm playing it on fast at all. Let me just take that off so I can actually see and know what's happening. Here we go. He's about to break down. But there was so many other mobs that I'm having to deal with right there. Let me just grab grow blocker as well because I can afford it and then I'm thinking that I will just need sooner rather than later a few mob maulers. Oh that is such a shame I didn't realize that you couldn't get it. All right well I guess that is going to be what it has to be then. I won't focus too heavily on what they can give me but I don't think it's going to matter because they just seem to be cruising on through. Look at this thing go. Honestly I just had to bring it in because I was trying to think what can I do. I've only just taken out half his health but he's definitely more than halfway through the track and I have about seven grand. I mean, I guess I could look at getting something like an aircraft carrier. I mean, a Paragon. Oh, I just imagine if you had a Paragon already. But either way, an aircraft carrier would cost 7, 10. Hmm, I don't have that much money, but I can get that much money. I just don't know if I can get it fast enough. You go there. I can get all the way up to aircraft carrier soon. Come on. Once I get this ability, there we go. Aircraft carrier. Just go for your life. Come on, people. Honestly, I really don't see this happening because, wait, I hadn't even realized how much health he's still got. Yeah, there's no way I'm going to be doing this. I thought I'd taken out half his health, but look at that. He's going to cruise through me. Oh, I did knock him back. Look, I will grab the abilities I can, but there is no hope for that. My goodness. He rinsed me once again. Round 87. Game over. Vortex has defeated me. I mean, to be honest, I can't be too upset. As it says, new best round, round 87. But looking around and looking at her, how easily he got through, I have no idea how you're meant to go about beating him or getting further than that. Because even though I've got 10 grand, how would I possibly spend enough money or get enough money to do that double the damage? Especially considering I completely forgot that you can't get more maulers. That completely changed my outlook on the game. But honestly, I had four banana plantations and I didn't feel like I had enough money, as well as the druids and everyone doing work for me. And so, yeah, like I said, I don't know how how you earn enough money and I don't know how you do enough damage is the two problems I'm having with that but it is definitely a challenge and obviously there is more to learn but anyway in saying that I reckon I'm going to call it there so thank you for watching this episode of Bloom Star Defense 6 if you did enjoy the video feel free to do the YouTube algorithmic things down below also if this is the first video of mine that you are watching then make sure to go check out any other ones I've done or hey maybe even just want to consider subscribing so that you don't miss none of one of these in the future but all in all have a good one and see ya